It was another round of protests at the gate of the presidential villa, where Bring Back Our Girls members gathered to press home their demand for the rescue of the Chibok schoolgirls. It is now the 864th day since their abduction, and the group is asking government to eschew talks and delve into action for their rescue. The group is not only asking for the release of the girls, but also for the mastermind of the abduction, Abu Bakr Shekau, whose phantom death has been announced many times by the military. For them, so long as Shekau leaves, rescue of the Chibok girls remain a dream. Today, the 864, since the abduction of our Chibok girls, time has clearly run out. It is time to take decisive action and to bring our Chibok girls back. No more delays, we say. No more delays. Another key, another key issue for us in the, is that in the last 72 hours, the military's announcement has been that the Boko Haram leader, Abu Bakr Shekau, was fatally wounded during air raids. We want it placed on record that this is the fourth time that our military and the Nigerian state has triumphantly announced the death of this fellow. We ask, when shall he finally die? <laughs> like previous administration, the Buhari-led government has given lots of excuses and vital information on the rescue of the girls to no avail. These ones are no longer ready for more excuses. I ain't doing nothing. And for those who tell us to believe, I'm not a believer. I'm not a believer. I'm a citizen who wants to see action. It is in God that I believe in your sin. But as the president here, I must see him. Not only acting, he must be seen to be acting. For all those who say to us, keep believing, keep believing. For all of us, I want to believe. Death is a good day. Food is not enough in a country like Nigeria. Yet, nothing is being said. I stand for the Chibok girls. At the same time, every other abductee and the BBOG is standing for all IDPs that I know all over the country. As usual, their rally train stopped at the entrance of the presidential villa causing heavy traffic along Secretariat Way due to a wall of security barricade. But they were not deterred as parents of the girls in tears urged authorities to consider their plight and join in the quests for immediate action. If I think I've buried my baby, nobody will ask of me where my baby is because I know I've buried her. But she's alive, imagine. They say she's not my baby. Her name is Maida. I named her. Her English name is Doka Siapo. She's my baby. So my message to you to take it to him the baby on this video is my baby many nigerians see their demand as genuine but what can solve the problem is only the rescue of the missing girls time for now is running out <laughs>